So off late, we have been making a lot of videos about how to start a biotech company and a lot of students and youngsters, 22 year olds have written to me that they want to start a company. Well, that's very encouraging, encouraging and you know, you know, it reminds me of my days, like how energetic I was and I had a dream. I wanted to fulfill it. And yeah, to some extent I did. Now I want to create 3000 companies in India in biotech sector in the next 10 years. We have 3 million subscribers and all those people, I am sure we can have 3000 entrepreneurs out of these 30 lakh people. Now, one student emailed me that I, he says that I think starting a biotech company is too difficult. So I'm making this video in response to that. On one hand, I said, yeah, you can earn crores and million, multi-million dollars um, from the biotech industry by starting a company. But at the same time, there will be people who will come and tell you that it's too difficult. Right. So, you know, how would I approach that problem if I was a 22 year old? I'm going to tell you that. Okay. Now, the first things first, even before you enroll into the gym, you say that the, going to a gym is too difficult. Then you will probably never jump into the gym. Right. The same way, any task, unless you have jumped into it, will always feel the start is always tough. The start always looks difficult. But once you have started, a lot of people will come together to help you to make things work for you. Okay. So I am going to give you 10 pointers today, which will not just open your eyes about the uh, fact that starting a biotech company is easier more than ever than earlier, but also it will help you uh, give some more pointers on why you should start now than starting it out later. Okay. So the point number one, which I have is if we look at the biotechnology industry, it is much more accessible and technologically advanced today than it was, I think, uh, 15, 16 years ago or 30 years ago, right? So it is much more technologically advanced and it is easier to, you know, it is much more accessible. Those technologies, technologies are much more accessible than earlier. Thanks to internet and thanks to, you know, you can network with people and reach out with, you know, whoever has got specific ability. For example, you want to start a, a food processing plant and you want to reach out to some food tech specialist. So you can just go to LinkedIn and reach out to somebody, right? So because with the help of technology and because of technological advancement, you can reach out to more people and seek help. So it is easier more than ever. That's the first point. Now, the second point which I have is there are more resources available today than it was, you know, 20, 30 years ago. Right. So um, I'm sure you all have heard of the inspiring story of Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shah. So she started in a garage. She had no resources. She had no employees and she had no way to advertise about it that, OK, I'm starting a biotech company. Please join me. Right. So she had to do go through a lot of. Uh, you know, phases of struggle. Now coming to me, when we started, even we had this problem, but I had lesser problem hiring people in my team because we had biotechnica. So, you know, if I just said, Hey, uh, we have, we want somebody to work for this and people join. So it was much more easier than the way uh, Dr. Shah struggled. She struggled a lot, but my struggle was a little lesser, but for you, the struggle will be even lesser because Today, you don't even need to hire full time employees for your uh, company. You can hire part time employees. You can hire interns. And there's, there's so much of talent available, which is ready to work at a lower uh, cost also. So many resources are available. And if you want to start a company, you have uh, biotech incubators, you have biotech accelerators. And uh, I'm myself starting an accelerator, accelerator now in the coming days. And there are more, much more funding opportunities available today than earlier. There was no shark tank then, but it is there today. So, you know, that's the second point. More resources are available. Now coming to the third point, which is biotechnology industry is growing rapidly and there is a huge demand because of um, global problems. Okay. So because of the pandemic or the recession, because of the um, all the diseases which are coming up, whether it is lifestyle disease, whether it is food scarcity or malnutrition or agricultural produce product increase or waste management or clean technology. So all this. OK, so when, you, when, you, when we talk about this, uh, the, the demand is going to go up only. It is not going to go down. Right. And that is where it is. A, it is high time for you to get started. OK, and you can't just get you can get started and earn in crores. 
and you can do that as a 22 year old as a 19 year old you don't need to do a phd also for this right so you don't need a lot of degrees to get started in a to start a biotech company and the best part is you'll always have me by your side to mentor you right and that's the best part so now coming to the next point which i have for you is the cost of starting a biotech company is lesser than ever for example when uh, mr ajay bhardwaj started anthem biosciences he had to invest close to 50 crores into the plant so he worked as a the president of biocon for 20 years and then he started anthem biosciences and there he had to invest more than 50 crores he had to take bank loans and funding and then he had to start that plant but today you don't need to start complicated biotech companies or very high level biotech companies you can start a simple biotech company which just enhances the you know uh, food shelf life or probably it just uh, increases uh, the healthy uh, quotient of uh, snacks or a um, you know regular food so that's where you know you don't need to start a very high profile biotech company like how dr shaw did or how dr uh, mr rajay bhardwaj did so you can start simple biotech companies with zero startup capital with zero money in your pocket you can do that and if you want to know how to do that i'm going to do a workshop on this on 4th of february and it'll be from 10 o'clock onwards spare out that saturday with me i'm going to talk to you for six hours continuous and i'm also going to have some guest entrepreneurs and uh, ex director of monsanto um, dr jagdish mithur is also going to join me you can learn from us how to start a biotech company at zero cost you'll also get to learn from him because he has seen the biotech industry grow he is my senior and my mentor you will meet him also so you will learn from him the history of biotech industry how it grew in india so you will learn a lot in this workshop and that will definitely help you understand how can you start a biotech company with zero rupee without any initial investment and you can grow bigger and earn multi-million dollars and crores. So that's uh, the fourth point now. The fifth point is there are many success stories in biotech industry today compared to it was when it was in like uh, 15 or 20 years ago. So in 15, uh, 15 or 20 years ago, there were very less biotech startups. There was no chance of getting motivated because you had no, uh, you know, people who would tell you their story also because there was no um, platforms like LinkedIn or Biotechnica to share those stories or YouTube. So here, here's a point I want to make here. So if you want to start a company, you definitely would look up to somebody, right? When I started a company, there was only one person whom I could look up to. That was Dr. Shaw. And yeah, um, I think, yeah, Dr. Shaw. That's what that's what was there. But today, there are many biotech entrepreneurs in India who, whom you can look up to and you can approach them for help and um, advice and mentorship. So that's an that's amazing point you have got today. Now, coming to the next part, which is biotech industry is a highly interdisciplinary subject so it's not that you did your bsc in botany so you cannot start a biotech company or you did your bsc in biochemistry you cannot start a marine biology company you can always do because you can apply that knowledge into this particular field okay so it's cross domain function it is interdisciplinary and you then you combine it with computers and then it becomes scalable right so another aspect of uh, growing becoming uh, you know starting a biotech company is you can scale it and that's exactly uh, is going to be my next pointers. So here is a point, biotech industry is interdisciplinary. So no matter what exactly is your uh, BSc or MSc, you can start in any field, okay? Now coming to the next part, which we have is the, the Indian government, BIRAC, Department of Biotechnology, they are funding, okay? When I started, there was nothing, okay? There was nobody who would tell you also that they, they, there is a, something called BIRAC and you can get funding from them. There is something called Department of Biotechnology. If you write to them, they will provide funding. So government every year, government of India is providing funding and it goes into crores. Okay. If you have a promising biotech startup, you can approach BIRAC. Okay. I can help you in that. You can approach DBT and then you can apply. Now, why can't I apply? Because my startup, Biotechnica and Rasainica is 15 year old BIRAC will only fund uh, companies which is uh, you know which, which was started in the last three years or five years that means you have a chance so that's something you should know you can always start a biotech company and get funding in crores from government of India that's the first and strongest venture capital which you can get now, the next part is today you have more experienced mentors most experienced uh, incubators and accelerators available so uh, for example 
when i started a company there was nobody who would tell me how to do that but since i have experimented i have learned i have made mistakes and i have failed multiple times and then I learned how to do things so i can teach you all that right so the same way there are many such professionals many such biotech entrepreneurs mentors like uh, dr shah also does and uh, dr. mr rajesh bhagwaj also does uh, you know uh, dr mithur does you, you can reach out to many people and take advice from them and the best part is you you don't even need to you know take an appointment just ping them in linkedin and they will reply so that's the beautiful part you can get guidance from amazing mentors who are out there in the biotech industry now let's look at the um, ninth point which i have for you is the reason you should start today in your uh, biotech industry and start a company is because see you are young okay 15 years later you won't be as young as you are today right so that is the reason today is the first day today is the day to start working on your biotech idea and start a biotech company and if you have any doubts any hesitation talk to me okay i'm there for you i'll help you because my goal is to start 3000 biotech companies before i die okay now here is something uh, which uh, i would like to highlight so that's a ninth point global globally biotech industry is growing and so you can create a product here in india and you can sell it abroad like you can sell it on amazon you can sell it on uh, various online platforms so to the general consumer base also so you start a company for in biotech in india you create the product you test it out with indian audience and if it works you can go global also and that is where the billions of dollars can be made so that's the ninth point which i have for you now coming to the 10th point and that is you know it's something which is very dear to me and that's why i kept it as a 10th point and that is you have a potential to create a positive impact on the society you have the potential to create employment for a lot of biotech graduates and post graduates and phd's of the future you have the potential to make your life amazing live your dream life and um, not work under someone instead you can be your own, or your own boss and the last point is you will be able to earn in crores and millions of dollars and of course a lot of funding will be available in the future of course it is there now now why you should start now the strongest reason is because it is a recession there are a lot of companies which are shutting down or uh, probably there is a lack you know a lack of uh, ideas and people are panicked this is the time to start something creative start something innovative and this is the time to take up the workshop which i am conducting on 4th of february the link is in the description it will not cost you more than 1000 rupees that will be probably you know uh, one time you go out for a dinner in bangalore it will cost you more than that but in that money i am going to give you billion dollar ideas probably you can start million dollar companies and that will not just change your life it will change life of so many people who will work under you your family will be proud of you you will be proud of yourself and you will have a dream life now i'm not trying to tell you uh, you know that uh, you know dreams happen just because i will show them you'll have to work on it but i will be there side by side to help you okay like i told you in my last video i have three approaches the first is your idea your execution my investment the second is my idea your execution our investment the third is our idea our execution our investment so this is the three models which on which i am going to work in the future but what i want is all the subscribers and students and of uh, biotechnica and all the people who are watching this video or will share this video to all of you just imagine it's so simple to start a simple biotech company and you can easily get into crores and you can generate employment for so many people i think it's charity starting a company in 2023 is the best thing you will do to yourself right so go on guys please register for my workshop and let us come together and debate and discuss how can we start successful biotech companies and gift our nation in this world employment opportunities and a dream to yourself all the best see you soon in the next one till then take care bye bye